Ring in the new year with amazing savings from Appalachian Wireless. Get the Galaxy S7 for just $49.99 when you sign or renew a two-year service agreement. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. The state auditor's audit report of the Knott County Fiscal Court for the 14-15 fiscal year was less than flattering for the court. Among the issues noted in the audit were problems with the expenditure of federal funds, a violation of state bidding laws, lacks of controls over payroll, lacks of internal controls at the Knott County Sportsplex, and other issues. And Knott County Judge Executive Zach Weinberg's response to the audit? It was pretty uh, incompetent, really. According to the audit report, State Auditor Mike Harmon's office noted that the county's ledgers did not separate federal funding expenditures from normal expenditures. The audit report also said the fiscal court did not follow procurement procedures for non-emergency work during 2014's widespread flooding in the county, which was eventually declared a federal disaster. While Weinberg responded in a report indicating the ledgers would be corrected, he took issue with the alleged problems with the flood work, saying the situation is still a, quote, open case. The, the FEMA money, has uh, we've not been uh, denied. It's still an open case. Uh, they and, and I've talked to the attorneys at the DLG, and uh, they uh, think that we will receive that money. And so to write us up for something that, uh, that's not occurred, that just doesn't make sense to me. The audit report also took issue with the handling of money at the Knott County Sportsplex. The report acknowledged the large amount of money that moves through the sportsplex and took issue with how referees are paid for basketball games using cash from front door receipts. The report also noted that there were poor controls over receipts at the sportsplex. Judge Weinberg responded that the county has implemented a point of sale at the sportsplex to correct the problems. Weinberg also said the county's apparent violation of bidding laws for work performed on the county swimming pool should not have been part of the audit report. Weinberg said the $47,500 repair on the pool was done with money from the county's insurance company and not with county funds. But even with the issues listed in the audit report, Weinberg said the audit, quote, nitpicked. There's no money missing. There's no, uh, you know, foul play. There's nothing, you know, that's just a, uh, we're doing the best we can with what we have. And, uh, you know, like I said, on the 2016, they didn't write us up on the sportsplex. So we have done some things. And, uh, you know, I'm always willing to, to make anything better. But uh, some of the stuff they ask for is just not uh, reasonable. Weinberg said there are currently no plans to change any policies or procedures based upon the audit's findings. Reporting in Heinemann for EKB News, I'm Chris Anderson.